we have these cheating claims. Oh my God. And honestly, everybody was trying to deflect from the situation. Um, when we first found out, it was a super sad situation that Jeezy and Jeannie Mai were uh, breaking up and whatnot. I believe they were married for two years and have one child together. Um, and this is coming off of the heels of Jeannie Mai being married to that white man. And the white man was kind of cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So we thought she didn't want to have a baby with him. She never wanted to have a family. And then she met Jeezy and all of a sudden she wanted to have a family. So she had finally met a man that she was comfortable enough with having children with, right? Which I think is a beautiful thing for you to be set in your ways. Like, I don't want to have a child. And then all of a sudden you meet this man and it makes you want to have a child. Like, that means you've really met a man that you are in love with, that you're comfortable with, that you feel safe with. And that's how I feel about children. I feel like, eh, I'm not a big fan of kids. Like, if I was to die today and never have a child, I think I would be okay with that. But I also feel like if I found a man who wanted children and that man emotionally fulfilled me and created a safe space for me that I was in love with, someone that I trusted and felt comfortable enough with, then I would be open to the possibility of having kids. So I feel like that is kind of the same situation for Jeannie Mai. So to see this marriage fall apart at the seams like this is a whole hot damn mess. So we found out they were getting a divorce. Funky Dineva said that it was nothing salacious even though there were rumors about Mario Lopez and stuff like that. Apparently that wasn't true according to the sources. Um, but what they kept saying was lifestyle differences, cultural differences. She wanted to walk the child to school. She wanted to be on social media. She wanted to have big parties. He just wanted low key kickbacks. Didn't want the child to walk to school, but wanted her to be, you know, chauffeured in a, a big black SUV. And he didn't want his relationship being on social media. Okay. So listen, now they are, I believe it's a custody battle. And so they're filing these different motions. And it seems like Jeannie Mai's camp is insinuating that Jeezy is a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Jeannie Mai has responded to Jeezy's divorce petition and she is more than insinuating, this is TMZ, and she's more than insinuating he cheated on her and claims that uh, will have a huge effect on their prenup and division of assets. According to legal docs obtained by TMZ, Jeannie more than insinuates her estranged husband is guilty of infidelity. Her lawyers write, that the wife reserves the right to amend this counterclaim to add other grounds for divorce, but which wife does not wish to specify herein as this time in hopes that this matter will be resolved without having to disclose such conduct publicly. Okay, sorry for my bad reading, but basically meaning, listen, if he act right and if he do right, we don't really have to get into the nitty gritty of the things that Jeezy did in the marriage. But it gets even more pointed, as TMZ says. Wife, the lawyer says, further shows that the court should enforce paragraph A of the prenuptial agreement regarding infidelity, which provides a pertinent part that in the event that either party engages in sexual relations, an emotional relationship, or is emotionally or sexually suggestive in communication with a third party via all forms of electronic communications, including but not limited to texting, sexting, FaceTiming, social media, and or direct messages, shall result in a significant financial penalty upon the adulterous party. If you cheat and we get a divorce, you must pay up. That is what paragraph eight of the prenup states, okay? In other words, according to TMZ, she's accusing Jeezy of being unfaithful and claiming he's gotta cough up a bunch of dough as a result. The docs do not say who exactly Jeezy was allegedly banging, talking to, or seeing. Jeannie coming out with cheating allegations is super interesting, they say. As we first told you, Jeannie was being accused of cheating on Jeezy with Access Hollywood host Mario Lopez, but a source close to her told us that it was not true. So here's the thing. I don't know why the courts, um, what, what motion she's responding to because Jeezy filed something first and then she responded. So I'm trying to see like what he filed. So I think he had filed some sort of a motion dealing with um, custody. And somehow, some way, I don't know, they responded with cheating allegations. So, let me see. Let's see what page six say. Um, oh, Jeezy was accusing Jeannie. That's what it was. Jeezy or Jeannie Mai. Or no, let me get this right. They have the same name, child. Jeezy, the rapper, the man, okay? The fine-ass black man. He is accusing Jeannie, right, the wife, of gatekeeping, right, 
basically like she's not letting me see my daughter she's not letting me talk to my daughter right like she's being stingy with the time that i'm able to communicate and spend time with my daughter right so in a response she's saying um anyways okay fuck what he's saying uh you cheated paragraph eight prenup and before this is all said and done you owe me some cash what happened to black men don't cheat wasn't he in that interview with neil long talking about i don't cheat or something like that Weren't y'all saying in the comments on social media, he didn't cheat, black man didn't cheat, da 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 blaming the whole situation on Jeannie Mai? Weren't y'all blaming it on cultural differences? What the hell is going on? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day. Bye.